Hi everyone! The day has finally arrived. I have some exciting news for you from the Luxon Product Forge again. Today I am going to spill the details on the new power supply and backup, so get ready! The new power supply and backup is a power pack which is placed on a DIN rail and therefore finds its place in the distribution. The power pack has 18 modules and has 7 24 volt DC outputs, each of which delivers up to 10A. Overall, the power supply delivers up to 40A, even up to 60A for a brief time to absorb peaks easily. So, the new power supply and backup is perfect for supplying all Luxon products in a building, that is, the mini servers, extensions, peripheral devices such as the touch, presence detectors as well as LED spots, LED strips and audio products with the necessary operating voltage. All seven outlets are each secured with a replaceable fuse. We have integrated a suitable tool and replacement fuses so that this can be done quickly and easily in the event of an error. However, the power supply and backup would not be a genuine Luxon product if it weren't fully integrated into Luxon's home and building automation. All 24 volt DC outputs have a power measurement. Thanks to the tree interface, information about the current performance and the possible failure of the fuse can be accessed. But more on this later when we put the power supply and backup into operation. If a fuse is defective, this is not only displayed in the Luxon visualization, but also directly on the device thanks to the integrated LEDs. But that's not all. As the name suggests, the power supply also has a backup function. You can connect the 36 volt lead acid battery to the power supply, which takes over the power supply for all Luxon products seamlessly in the event of a power failure. And seamless really means seamless. You can find all details about the batteries, which can be best combined with the power supply and backup in the technical data sheet. But enough theory, now let's put the power supply and backup to the test and take a look at all features again in practice. First, I connected the 203 volts and my 24 volt DC outlets, as well as the battery and the tree line to the power supply and backup. As soon as the 230 volts main voltage is applied, 24 volt DC are supplied on the output side, even if the device has not yet been taught. Now we want to make a change, so let's switch to the Luxon config. As usual, let's start with the tree search, assign the correct designations and insert the device. After we have saved into the mini server, the power supply and backup is online. The corresponding function log is inserted on the page with a simple drag and drop, which has a visualization in the Luxon app. It also provides information on the overall performance, the performance of the individual channels, current operating modes, that is, main supply or battery operation, as well as the possible failure of a fuse. These outputs can be used for further logic. You can now label the used 24 volt outputs by double clicking on the block. We recommend using a separate output for the control cabinet components, that is, mini servers and extensions, as well as an output for the peripheral devices. Now I can use the other outputs in my installation for the lighting on the ground floor and upper floor, as well as for the audio server and the respective stereo extensions. If an output is not used, the label field simply remains empty. Now let's take a look at the properties. First, you can increase the output voltage depending on your needs on the secondary side up to 27 volt DC and you can choose whether you want to use the backup feature. If you are using a battery, you must enter the capacity of the battery here. Then we have to save into the mini server again and look at the associated visualization. In the Luxon app, you can now see the individual consumption of the respective outputs, the type of supply, that means the mains or the battery, and the current charge level of the battery. If the 230 volt mains voltage fails, the system switches seamlessly to emergency power operation and the remaining emergency power supply is displayed. Pro tip! Thanks to the freely configurable Luxon config, you can now implement logic, statistics and much more based on the needs of your customers. To maintain the emergency power operation as long as possible, I can activate an operating mode when switching to battery operation, which causes the maximum brightness of only 20% to be activated when lighting is required. 
our new power supply and backup function block reduces the cabling effort enormously. Thanks to the integrated views, there are no costs for fuse clamps. Plus, you always have an overview of the required performance of all Luxone components. The backup function ensures that the entire building, including lighting, audio, peripherals and sensors, remains fully functional even in the event of a power failure. If you like this video, we would appreciate if you gave us a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead. Because this was just the beginning of our release marathon. We will be back next week with another new Loxone product you don't want to miss. Thank you and see you soon.